everybody. Good morning, Grandma, Grandma, and Grandpa. I had a great night's sleep last night. We're actually all the way over there underneath a staircase. Cody's still sleeping, so I'm gonna go for a walk in this park that we're next to. The weather is beautiful now. I think it's gonna be cloudy for a good part of the day, which is gonna block out the sun. We're gonna be leaving this city of Takeo in a little bit. It's about 7.30. There were some small amounts of mosquitoes buzzing around our faces last night from the rains. I covered my face with the Shimog, so thank you, Leo. I might have gotten bit a couple times. I don't know. It wasn't as bad as the night before because it got a little bit colder. I think it got down to about 50, 52 or 53 degrees. That kind of keeps the mosquitoes away. But we're actually underneath a staircase. It was, it was a lot darker. We did not get woken up by the security guard this morning. Welcome to camp. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, actually. That's good. We are on our way to Kashima. We got a later start in the morning. We got out about nine o'clock. But we are on the road. These country mountain roads are absolutely phenomenal. Check out this Land Cruiser. I'm a Toyota fan, but I don't know that much about cars. Is this rare? It's got a snorkel. It, the windshield flies down. If you know anything about that car, please let me know. So we've almost completely used up all of our food, so we're gonna resupply at this grocery store. Look at these face towels. My neighbor Totoro, Kiki's delivery service. So Cody just told me I got mosquito bites like all over my neck. I slept really good, but apparently the mosquito still got me really bad. I think they got me on my nose too because I've been walking around with this like red dot on my nose. They've never tasted American blood, and they just went to town on me. Oh, this is only five bucks. So we do the grocery stores in Japan to keep the costs low, make our dollar go further. People say Japan's really expensive, but it doesn't have to be if you're smart about it. Noodles, bananas, and I think we're gonna get this bread. It looks like matcha and pomegranate, or matcha and beans, something like that. That looks good, we're gonna get that. Yeah, we're gonna get one of these to share. It has absolutely horrid lips from riding in the sun. They're just so chapped. And we just found chapstick, so hopefully it's gonna fix his lips. Make sure to check back in a couple days to see how this works. Part of the store is a 100 yen shop, and I love it here because everything is 100 yen. If you need scissors, if you need anything, Cody's gonna get one of these towels for the onsen. Toothbrushes, nail clippers, uh, disposable razors, dollar, it's like a dollar store, it's awesome. Zip ties, all types of glues, little things you might need to fix your bike. Tape if you need to tape up your bicycle box when you're leaving a country. If you lose your sunnies, these are only a buck, so that's steal of a deal. Because I remember in the States, I lost a pair and I had to buy them for like 15 bucks from a gas station, which sucked. I think I'm interpreting this sign correctly. One watermelon is like 30 bucks. What? This is an interesting way to pack your eggs, just in a little container. We are right here in Urashino. We're trying to get to Nagasaki down there, and there's this humongous mountain that we were planning on going around, but I actually think we're gonna cut through it. This is all gonna be climb, but it's gonna be an amazing descent. It's gonna be a bit more of a challenge, and I'm probably gonna hate the climb. But like I said, the descent will be worth it, and these descents have been awesome. Rural baseball field, completely dirt, no grass, because we're looking for a water source for our epic climb, which is in that direction over some mountains. Where there are sports, there must be water, right? Video where we found a secret waterfall in the bamboo forest in the woods. It was man-made and concrete, but it was still cool. A hundred times bigger, a huge flow of water going straight down the center. We're riding, we just stopped at this giant dam. Cody's taking some pics. We found a fellow Tabibito traveler. His name is Kojo. When he has free time, he travels around Japan by scooter. He just got done with three days, three day traveling. He has a YouTube channel too. If you're seeing this, check out his YouTube channel. <laughs> Tano Kojo. 
and leave him a comment telling him that you came from the bike tour. 11 videos, but he does have 7,000 subscribers and a ton of views, which is really cool. There's no Japanese, it's just music that he made himself, plus animation that he does for hobby. If you like Japanese animation, I'll put a link to his channel in the bottom. Check him out and drop a comment and give him likes as well because that's cool. I learned the word for the mosquito and it's ka, so I have ka bites all over me. We hung out with Kojo for a couple hours, took a nice little break by that dam, just talking, exchanging culture. His English is pretty good. It's nice to be able to speak in my language. He taught me a couple new words like ka is mosquito and asui, I think, is hot, another word for hot. He lives in Nagasaki which is actually where we're going, and he was bomb enough to invite us to his house, which is where we're going to be going tomorrow. So now we're just bike hiking, pedaling through Mount Terra on our way to Amora. There are so many little park areas in Japan. These weren't even on the map, but if we needed a place to sleep, just like right over here, benches, shelters, bridges, Nice little streams. Bike touring in Japan is amazing. Almost to the top of the pass, my legs are on fire. So much climbing. Right now, at this very moment, we are in a tunnel. 1700 meter long tunnel. We've been in this tunnel forever! And we are out of the tunnel. That is the most epic tunnel ride of my life. A lot of it downhill. A freight truck, like, bigger than that, overtook us to a tiny little Japanese smart car and like almost took out the car. It was so close, I really thought they were gonna crash. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. Now we got an epic descent for a while. We put in the miles, we put in the effort upwards. Now it's time for the fun part. We just stopped at this bridge structure thing to take some pictures for Instagram and stuff. I was laying on the road with the camera there and Cody was riding that first van behind me. Is the police here. I think they have a speed trap here. Me being in the road was slowing people down. I like all came out at me and told me to stop taking pictures because people would slow down because I was in the road and they wanted people to speed through here so they can stop them and give them a ticket. City of Omura. I lost Cody. I don't know where he's at. We got separated. We're planning on sleeping in the city tonight. Now we gotta find a place to sleep. City riding in Japan, not that enjoyable. Just made it to Omura Park. It is a beautiful park. Japan does not play with their parks. These are nice. And the park has Wi Fi. You guys are way too good to us. Just heating up some water for some ramen. The ramen in Japan is a lot different than in the States. Ramen in the States has like a negative connotation with it because it's like so cheap. Well, it's cheap here also, but it's like way better quality. It's actually like got a lot more things in it. I feel like it's better for you. It might not be. It might still be totally filled with sodium. Don't feel bad for us because we're eating ramen every day. It's actually really, really good. Ton of fish. There's cats at the park. It is like not afraid of me at all. That's the first wild cat pet in Japan. She's got beautiful spots. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to thumb the video up. If you have any questions about Japan or you want to send us your motivating travel prayers, put them in the comment section. Don't miss tomorrow, we're gonna to meet up with Kojo. He animates in his spare time and he's it's actually, he's like a brilliant animator. The music in the animation, he produces himself. I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description. Check it out, it's actually really cool. Thanks everybody for watching. I will see you guys in the morning.